Blaz got the donuts, y'all. Yeah. Uh, we like ate a few, so. Okay. There's like I want old, this you one. Want the yeah. Just... What's going on, guys? Early morning. We're about to get on the tractor and start mowing the grass. Well, boys. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. She does. Like, he's got the head start, man. He's like, I'm gonna start flipping under this tree before I even get down in there. Just kidding. All right, so we're here with the guys. We got the kayaks loaded up. We are about to do a little bit of an adventure. We've never been to this location. Uh, we'll talk more about it when we get on the water. Ooh, the water's warm. Yeah, it's like stupid warm and it smells. It smells, it smells like gar. All right, guys, we're gonna start off, I guess, with uh, flipping into some trees this morning. Some nice trees over here, actually, some really nice trees. I'll put my phone away. Just in case we go in the water. Yeah, there's some nice trees over here. We got the uh, chase baits flip flop in that blood color. Doing some quick flipping, just trying to cover some of these spots real quick. Yeah. Put the Texas rig away. We're gonna pull out jackhammer chatterbait, create some vibration. All right guys, so the bite's as stale as it gets basically. So we are gonna pack up and head to another little pond. I haven't fished in quite a while, but it was my first pond I ever kayak fish. So I am very confident there that at least someone will catch fish. We'll have some sort of story to tell you guys today. So we will load up and meet you guys at the next spot. Oh, okay. All right guys, <laughs> spot number two. Everybody's getting in the water. Yak's already in the water. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Well, it's warm. It's muddy, it's getting hot. First cast? Dude, that is so sick. Check it out guys, Cheeto got his first fish, first cast. It might be bad luck though. Had a lot of trouble when it gets hot. So we're gonna go back to the basics. One of my favorite lures to throw. When it's just hot and the bite's hard. Just a basic Senko. I actually got these in a recent mystery tackle box. So we are gonna just rig it up and uh, see if we can draw anything in. It's just a little tree line. Looks pretty darn good if you ask me. Fish on, fish on, fish on. There we go, baby. First one, yeah. Choke that Senko, dude. I am now. All right, got him out nice and safe. No blood, no clotting. Swim away, buddy. You're all free. spinning like that all right guys first fish of the day just going easy getting that Senko out like I said something that's nice and easy for these fish to pick up something natural here in this water and uh, especially with this heat they don't want to be chasing anything so we're just gonna be flipping and pitching into these brush piles and uh, reeds and tree lines and stuff like that just trying to find out where these fish are at that last guy swallowed it pretty good we were able to get it out though, and uh, my battery died as he was flipping out. He literally had his head out of the water looking at me, did like two jumps, came up, jumped, came up, jumped again, chilled, and then disappeared. All right, guys, we are making a move to the other side. Water's drifting this direction, so I want to come up, just let my kayak slowly start drifting down while I'm flipping the Senko into the reeds over here. We'll probably go about, uh, I can go probably full, 
full length, not completely full length, but we'll kind of go halfway and flow down. That way if the other guys want to fish it, we leave them some water to fish too. Fish on. <laughs> little guy. Tiny, tiny little guy. We'll take him. Fish number two. Dinks need love too, right? Literally, as soon as this thing hit the water, came off that edge. Felt like a bluegill pecking at it. So I just set the hook. And uh, a little, I don't even know, eight inch dink. I think we get a measurement. Let's see. Check it on my pole real quick. We'll just go with the tail. 10 inch. 10 inch dink. We'll take it. Let's get him back in the water. All right. Little jumps. Little jumps. What a cutie. I'll take it. Call that guy a little Stanley. Once again, guys, showing you the setup. Just a simple Senko. We're Texas rigging it. Got that weedless little area. Making sure the knocker is just a tad bit up. I'd say about a knuckle, maybe a two inches. Just so it's creating some knocking. You hear it? And fishing these bruiser baits. And it's just a stick worm, a little stick bait, nothing crazy. Flipping into these reeds, it is hot. It is not gonna be an easy day. So we're making it easy for these fish. Flipping in and out. I'm gonna turn around real quick and just keep on drifting with the wind. It's always the best thing to do when you're rolling in a kayak. Especially one that's got a rudder now that I put one in this. I gotta put some sunscreen on my face though because I'm getting toasty out here. As soon as it hit the water, as soon as it hit the water. As soon as it hit the water. They are not playing with these Senkos. Not another big one, but dude, that's fish number three in probably about an hour. That's the best I've done this pond ever. We were just fishing it hard, fishing it thoroughly, pitching in between all these brush and uh, reeds and stuff and pulling them out. Not a big one, but we'll take it, man. Another one. Let's get this guy unhooked and back in the water. <laughs> crazy day once again on old faithful when it's hot this is my setup guys i don't change it up i don't go crazy i don't start bringing in flashy colors you can do that though i've seen people catch crazy stuff on like pink worms uh chartreuse worms that's what cheetos using but me i like to go a little bit basic you got that green pumpkin my flashy part is adding that blue to it it definitely pops on the bluebird days like today helps kind of stand out a little bit more create a little bit of shine maybe a little luminescence got that three out guggen worm hook the reason i like that is it's a little bit slimmer so it's easier for them to fit in their mouth so as soon as they you know bite down i set that hook and we automatically get that hook set uh really really sharp really really good they don't really bend quarter ounce tungsten weight and a uh, little weight stop i'm gonna leave links below in my description if you guys are wondering where i pick them up get it all at shopcrawls.com the link is below Just flip into these reeds real quick we're gonna fish them thoroughly Nice and slow, let it drop in. Pop, oh, fish on, fish on, oh yeah. That's a good one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Like I said, fish them thoroughly, fishing those reeds. Another nice one. Let's go boys, we are killing it today. Oof, oof, almost got a hook in my finger. Solid, solid fish. It's probably gonna jump, I just feel it. They've all been jumping today. No jump. I said, nah, I heard you just say that. All right, back into the shady parts. Let's see if we can't pull anything out of here. That old handy dandy Senko. Fish on. Fish on. There we go, number five. A little juvenile. Fish. Fish. Oh. Can't stop with the Senko. All different fish too, I swear. All different fish. Number six. 
back in the boat. This has all been like in an hour or two. This is crazy. This is like the best fishing day I've had in a long time. Fishing the same pieces of structure. It seems like they don't want it when you're swimming past it. They want it as soon as it falls in. Getting all reaction strikes today. We're just gonna keep fishing it thoroughly. Yeah, finesse him. I got a take. Let's go, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo! I told you this spot sucked. Number seven for the day. Oh, he just bit me. Look at him, he won't let go. He's like, I hate you. He's like, that's a Senko, I'm gonna eat it. Look at him, let go, ow! Dude, what a dick! There we go. Number eight on the board, ladies and gentlemen. I was trying to explain at the beginning of today that sometimes when it's hot, these fish, they get real finicky. You gotta give them something simple. And uh, this Senko, man, it is just killing it. I think this blue uh, pearl kind of luminescence in there also is definitely standing out with these sunny skies. Hit, hit right away. Back to back, back to back. That's how we do it. Number nine. Number nine, boys. Senko is killing it today. All right, guys, we are at nine fish for the day. We gotta get to 10 now. We gotta get to 10 fish. Haven't had 10 fish, 10 fish day in a long time. Fish on. Oh! I had another one. That was number 10, just got away. Dude, they cannot resist the Senko today. Back in the boat, listen. Senko is... Oh, he just bit me. All right guys, epic day out there on the water with Wa, Cheeto, Colin. Let's go! Everybody ended up getting fish today. Really, really solid today. Got 10, no, nine fish total on the Senko. Cannot complain, but this heat is really getting to us. If you guys are interested in giving anybody these guys a follow or checking out their content, leaving links below for you guys. If you like today's video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and uh, contemplate subscribing as well. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.